Um, I wanted to know, did this figure come into your mind? I mean, he's so gorgeous. How long did it take to give him such a beautiful oh. <laughs> face? And did you envision it in your mind? I think I took about two and a half years to design the face because it was clear in my face what should come out of the face. What should come out of the face is this. Tell me if it is coming out of this face according to your perception. What I wanted was, I wanted the face to represent a, a certain sense of equanimity. That's one thing, stability and equanimity. At the same time, it should represent a certain sense of exuberance. It must also show that it's a focused, aware kind of face. At the same time, there is an inaberration. What do you think? Does he exude all those things or no? You can tell me honestly, no problem <laughs> Very, very well said. So, there is exuberance, there is equanimity, there is a certain drunkenness, there is a certain meditativeness. This is what I wanted in the face, so in my mind, because, you know, I have no brains, I have just lot of space <laughs> Why would you say that <laughs> No, because that's why I can create things <laughs> I don't have... Clutter. Memories. Memories are there, but they don't come up on my mind. My mind is an empty screen most of the time. When I kind of visualize something, initially we thought we will create a full image. We created full images in models, in computer models and also real life models like in cement and other things we tried to do. None of them look like the way I wanted them because this is what Adiyogi is, that he is Absolute exuberance, at the same time equanimity. He is a householder, he is an ascetic. He is a dancer and he is still. So these qualities kind of crystallized in my mind in a certain way. And it took about two and a half years for me to get it down into a computer screen or on a paper. But our boys, <laughs> hats off to them, they delivered him in eight months.